Welcome everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Hey everybody, how's it going? Give us one quick sec. We'll be right with you. I'm so excited. Welcome to everyone who is here with us. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I am so excited for um, this. This. Unboxing. Yes, this is going to be a fun one. Yes. So as you come in, say hi. Uh, let us know you are here. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Greetings and salutations, like Sean likes to say. Can't quite see who's here yet. We're just trying to get the uh, one thing up. There we go. I can see All that. All right. Oh. So welcome, guys. Hello, hello, hello. All right. Hey everyone, welcome. I see everyone is joining, welcome. Yes. Uh, we are so glad you are all here. So welcome. Yeah. Um, before we get started, I just wanna thank everyone for all of the amazing support you have all given us um, from our video yesterday. Thank you. I've had a lot of you reach out, say that you were watching the video and it went away, and where is it at? Last night it was taken down temporarily. Yeah. I had edited a little bit of it because it was reported, no big deal. And it is back up, so you should be able to watch it. Mm -hmm. But for everyone who's watched it and reached out to us um, with love and words of advice and encouragement, thank you so much. You guys have no idea <laughs> how much you impact our lives. I know, and we thank you so much for uh, yes watching, supporting, loving, sending. Everything. The list goes on and on. It's yes. great. Thank you. So um, today's video, I do have all the links down below. We are still trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We are going to be giving away a Cricut Maker and mm -hmm. tools. So make sure you guys get us to 100,000 subscribers so we can have our big giveaway. I cannot wait. Yes. Um, and stuff. So today's video is really exciting because as many of you know, we went to Creativation mm -hmm. in January now. And... Mm -hmm. Even though Creativation was a little different, we did have some amazing finds. Yep. We went to a booth we had so much fun in. <laughs> um, Jessica was with us, Sean and I, and of course, we wanted to break this item. We, we kept playing with it and we said, we want to break this item. Um, and I absolutely uh, love this for many different reasons. Yes. So before we, join, or we get into it, I'll tell you what it is. So probably in December, I went to my local Joann's and there was an end cap of all of these new Fisker tools, but there was no product on the shelves. And I told Sean, I said, I think this is gonna be great because as many of you know, we do truck tour and we are doing frames and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I have always told Sean, I can never find tools that are easy to use, that I like, that aren't mm -hmm. pink or aren't, uh, you know, for people like, for example, I have neck issues. So if I have to use a crank tool or a screw, even doing something like that can upset my neck or it, yes. sometimes you have to really crank on tools. So when we saw this at Creativation, I looked at Jessica and I said, we need to test these out because sometimes they say, oh, tools are easy to use, yes. but then you start using them and they're not very easy. Not so easy. And Sean. And there's Jessica now. She, hi, like Jessica. She said, like she said, she loves um, I left this booth thinking, oh my gosh, this will be amazing for truck tour people. Because guess what? We live in a DIY industry now. We do. So, so many of us are creating our own home decor pieces and we are building and putting things together and stuff. But we need to find tools that aren't super expensive. If you go to Home mm -hmm. Depot, they're expensive and, and yep. stuff. Yep. So, when I found this booth, I just had so much fun with them and we tried breaking the tools. Jessica, if anyone could break tools, it would have been Jessica. So, I said, go break the tools and she couldn't. Oh, yeah. Jessica is more than honest on feedback. So, she'll tell people, can I give you feedback and stuff? And literally, she was just like, I can't hurt myself with this. No. Like, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Her husband says she's not allowed to touch power she tools. Is not allowed to touch power tools. No touchy touchy. Um, give me one sec. Our, uh, what would that be? Auto lock. Where, your auto lock. It, yeah. Is it auto lock? Never. There you go. Oh, you're so smart, Sean. Eh. So anyways, we fell in love with this booth and we are going to now, I have not, um, opened this box yet. Um, I was going to open it and Sean says, no, let's do it live and do a first impression. So yes, that is what we we're going to do. Yes, absolutely. So before we open it though, I do want to show you what we are showing you guys. So you guys get an idea of what we're going to be showing you here. So I'm going to share my computer desktop. Give me one second here and show you kind of what we're playing with. 
All right, let me know when you are there, Sean. Yeah, one second, I just gotta get to the right spot. Pro, and here it comes. All right, guys. So basically, we all know Fiskars. Fiskars is something we have seen in our craft stores. They have punches and blades and all of this stuff. However, they have invented this new division called the DIY Precision Tools. So power through DIY materials with tools optimized for size, power, and precision. And we're talking saws and blades and these rotary blades and all of this stuff that is designed for people that do DIY crafts that technically might have a hard time doing a rotary blade or something of that sort. Now, I've given you all the links down below so you can see this, this Fisker site. They are also at your local Joann's. They are called the DIY. So when you go to Joann's, it will be, I'm trying to highlight so you see here, but it will say the DIY stuff. So this stuff at my Joann's is on an end cap. It is not part of the crafts section. It's an end cap and it literally has this at the top where it says precision tools and it has we we tested this this is the trimmer tool i was amazed on how well this trimmer tool cut mm -hmm. it was absolutely and we're we talking did. thicker we materials we did uh quite a few pages of pieces of paper yes. together and it did quite well yes so i just wanted to show you what we're talking about now if i did give you the link if you hit the little i in the upper right hand corner that will bring up all the cards one of that is the creativation and that is where we did this video it is called the creativation fiskers booth mm -hmm. um they sent me a package uh but they didn't send me everything so i'm going to be purchasing mm -hmm. stuff but i did want to show you what they sent me what i was most impressed with and that is what we're going to do mm -hmm. if you have questions during our broadcast please put it in caps so we can see it if you want us to test something please let me know you know you guys i like to test stuff so uh we'll get started here and i'm going to see what they sent me i don't even really know what's kind of in this box we'll yet. wait and see so, yeah. let me grab my tools and let's go ahead and start all right all right guys so first of all i will say um thank you to fiskers they did send me this box I was actually a, uh, you put your name in a drawing and I got picked. Nice. Nice. I didn't even know. So, and uh, so that's how I got picked. So it wasn't that they just sent it to me because I, you know, said, please send me stuff. I actually got picked. picked. So we're going to um, uh, set up picture in picture so you yep. can see us as we do this. So let's go to overhead view and set up a picture. Um, hi, everyone. I purchased the screwdriver and knife blade. I can't wait to try all this. I'll talk to you later, Jessica. Bye. Hi, Angela. Hello, everyone that's just joining. Um, let's see here. Jenna of E uses the precision cutter for a very long time. That is awesome. I have to go buy that. I'm pretty excited about a lot of this stuff. All right. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Fiskers. Wow, look at this. Ooh, frillies. Frilly, Sean. I like Let me get my garbage can. I love frillies. I like bubbles, too. All right. So um, the link's down below. I did send you the Fisker store. That is not an affiliate link. That's just, just to show you everything they have. Um, the Amazon links are an affiliate link, so I do make a small commission, and I just like to tell people that just so they know. Ooh. Ooh, look at there. All right, look so let's what see got. what we have. So first up, this is, okay, so this here looks like it is the, let's see, what do they cut? This is called the- World's number one best scissors. And they had these for us to cut things uh, while we were making little make and takes. Power, it's up to two times more powerful than the traditional scissors. So we'll have to try this out. They were nice. Nine inch nice. scissors. And look at them. They have this. So we'll have to look. Cuts burlap, cardboard, and more. Well, we're going to test that out. Yes. Self-locking non-glare tape with English and metric measurements. Nice. Nice. Nice and big. Oh, look, look at that. that. Automatically holds it. Oh, and it doesn't do the whole... <laughs> You know, some do that. Let's see. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty good. Press. So I like that. This, okay. This is what I was most excited about, you guys. Yeah. 
We all, I even, I am so glad we have this because there's only time to have hit my fingers. So this, I'll show you. We're going to go grab, um, in fact, I'll have Sean, will you go grab some nails so we can yeah. demonstrate this? give me a moment. This tool, when I open it, you guys, I was so excited I saw this. I can't even, I can't even tell you. All right. Um, they sent me this. This was Jessica's favorite item. Um, this was called the Hassle Free Hand Drill. And the reason she loved this is it doesn't take a lot of force to use. So this is something that barely, usually when you do a drill or something, you're, you're having to really push on it and, and do a lot of force. And this doesn't, which I was pretty impressed with. Now, granted, this was at the show. So I wanted to do this now with you guys here to really test this stuff. This is their controlled, precise cut, seven inch handsaw. I am really excited about this. I've always wanted a handsaw to create my own decor pieces or to make my own frames. Um, but obviously a lot of saws get stuck and you have to have a lot of force going back and forth. So we're gonna test this out and see how it does. This is the eight inch snips. Power cut up to 40% more power, easy action, spring reduced hand, decorative metal leather. So this will cut through decorative metal, leather, wire, and more. Hmm. So we'll try that out. They gave me a compact leveling tool. This has a top view. It's a magnetic strip and hangs hole for easy storage. I'm super excited about this, you guys, because it has a magnetic strip. And our Aiden boards with Trocator or our boards, I'm always asking Sean, do we know if it's level? And the only way you can do it is by having it go this way. But most levels you cannot see through here. It's only here. This actually will magnet. So we'll show it. And now you can see if things are level or not. Nice. So we'll show you that. And then, of course, they gave us a... Oh, I guess I didn't have the ring hammer. Hammer. <laughs> This is a multiple hand position hammer, and look at this. That means it'll sit flat down. Balance designed, optimal weight for precision power. All right, cool. So let's dig into this, Sean. Let's do what do you it. want to test first, Sean? Oh, I don't care. Should we try about looking at a piece of wood and nails since I brought okay. it down? So, you guys, this is, we'll open both of these. This is probably my favorite thing out of these, and it's super easy, but... So this is the hammer. So as you can see here, this is a normal hammer. Which it's barely gonna... See, look at that, it rocks back and forth. This is nice and has this nice end where it's easy. Mm -hmm. Move it around, look at that. That's so cool. It's the little things in life. Um, if you notice there, the head. About the same. About the same. It has this nice even, which I really like, which is why it can sit like that. And when they said multi-grip, this this nice rubber handle, you can hit it here for most power, and you can hold it all the way up here and still have a no nice... No one can see what you're doing. Nice, still have a nice grip here, here, or all the way back here. Oh, is that what they meant? Yeah. So you're so smart, doing Sean. Little, small little tiny nails and whatnot. Okay, so this I am super excited about. So this is the, basically it holds your nails. Especially the tiny stuff. The tiny, teeny, tiny nails. So let me bring you up here and see here, one, two, three. So you don't have to hold your nails, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but it kind of is. So did you bring me nails? Right next to you. There's so a normally, big, a bigger version and the tiny. let's start with the small version. Normally we would have to hold it. They're itty bitty. Can you go in and, and zoom in, love? Thank you. So see how they're normally itty bitty yeah, and you're gonna to have to- side, To the side a little bit. There you go, now you can do it. So just... normally I would have to go like this and try to hit it and you're gonna hit your fingers. Well, not anymore. You have this and you put your nail, you have a spot here and here. So right there is your nail. You put your nail in, holds it. You still have to hold it. Well, I know, but then you hold it here. You're not holding the nail. Simple as that. I don't know why this excites me so much. <laughs> so much nicer. So here's the bigger hole that you can use. So once again, you place it like this. So normally we would all hold it like this and 
if you miss it, you're gonna hit your thumb. This, you hold here, and then you do your. So you're not worried about hitting your thumb. It does this for you. You're holding up here. Wow, that has a lot of force. Mm -hmm. Where's the glue gun? What? With the clip coming from Zyron or Fiskars? What? The glue gun with a clip. I don't remember. Do you remember glue gun with a clip? I don't remember glue gun with a clip. Oh, uh, Zyron. Zyron does. Okay, yes. there you go. So you remember. So this here is pretty cool. That is nice. um, Especially those tiny How nails. many times... So how many times are we hanging something? So it's like, I don't know if I can show you. Oh yeah, you can go up to us. Here. Okay, Oops. so imagine us, um, if you're hanging something on a wall. So obviously here's your wall. This is where I hit my thumb the most is because you're holding it like this and you're trying to do this. But now if you put your nail here, Sean's gonna hold that for me. Literally, you place it flat with your wall you're holding down here. I mean, obviously this is moving because it's this. Release it, finish it up. Nice. I don't, <laughs> it's so simple. Uh, it's so simple, you guys, but it's genius. It's ingenious. We're scratching all of this. That's my bad. Oh, well. It's a wood top. It's a wood top. So this, I have to say, and I don't remember the cost on this. It's pretty reasonable. If I remember right, it's like $5.99 for that little thing. Mm -hmm. And they said that it's probably their number one seller. $8.99. There you go. Yeah, I've smashed my fingers many a times. And, and, and this. So now this hammer. So this, let's talk about this hammer here really quick, Sean. What do you like okay. about that hammer? Um, I love this grip. This is a non-slip style grip, so you know that sweaty palms and stuff is not going to slip out of your hand it just feels good in your hand it's like they said it's well balanced i mm -hmm. like it so basically it features the the non-slip grip with the two different hand positions the way you work so what sean's saying i, I don't think explain the two hand positions because okay. i don't understand that either so you might have to go to that what do you mean by the two hand positions and so why would it be important this is hand position one this gives you the most force because you have all the power in your arm and everything. When These are for the really big nails. Boom, boom, boom. When you're doing the intricate stuff, small things on walls, picture frames, whatnot, you want a little more preciseness, and you're only gonna, you only need to do little taps. That's what re, why put, uh, holding it up here makes it easier to do that. This is, oh. this is position number two. Okay, so it's 12 ounces. Yeah, it's and not heavy at all. No, and so like compared to this. That's heavy. This is super heavy. You can't really hold it up here. No. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not heavy at all, but it still gives you a lot of force. A lot of power. Um, it's all made of steel, and it has a lifetime warranty. And the soft grip is this. It also gives you, um, let's go back to us here. Sure. It gives you a nice hole for, because let's be honest, in a craft room, mm -hmm. we like to, um, let's, can we go back to this oh, view sure. here? Just that, guys. There we go. So we all like to store things. So it gives you actually this. No, there's barely any other um, tools on the market that's going to have this to hang like so. Yeah, like like on a pegboard with a, the single yep. uh, hooks and stuff. Perfect. So this here is by far the thing that drew me the most. And I'm telling you guys right now, I'm going to show you this again, just how cool this is. Look how itty bitty this nail is. See that teeny tiny nail? So trying to hold this without hitting your hand. And then Kenny and I have big fingers. So, so this, it has, if you can see here, it has two different size holes, big, small. So this goes into the small. It puts your finger all the way out here. Like Sean said, I can use this, like this down, and. Just do little teeny taps just oops. to get it in. And then little teeny taps. And then you literally lift it up and you finish it. And I screw that one all That's up. That's okay. That's my bad. Yeah, needle nose works very nice, but this is even better. <laughs> Much yes. better. Yes. So let's try that again. Oh. 
Ooh, I like that. Did you see that? I did. Ta -da. So guys, with this flat head, if you have a crooked nail, watch. You just push it back up. Nice. That's so cool. Yeah, perfect for string art, Fatima. What? Fatima says, uh, great for doing string work. String work? String oh, art, string yeah. Art. All right, so that is cool. the first two tools. Let's move on to the next. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do next, Shawnee? Let's see. Let's might as well break out the drill. Okay, this drill, you guys, is so cool. So here's the drill. So a couple things you have here, you of course have it where this, and this is barely, you guys can see I'm barely pushing it. It of course pops out. Oops, I'm dropping. And then, Sean's dropping my stuff. Uh, maybe, oh, it's right there, right there. Where? Right there. Okay, so what do we have here, Sean? These are three different size drill bits. Um, okay. I'm not sure, yeah, it does say if I can, you can get my eyeballs to work. I think it says on the package. Five thirty seconds. Oh. That's that size, the big one. Or the second to big one. This one is Sean, it's right here. Would that help you? Oh yeah. So five thirty second, three thirty seconds, uh three sixteenths and one eighth. So what Sean would we use this for? What is this tool basically used this for? This is more uh this would be for very simple drilling holes if you need to do pilot holes and um uh, before you do nailing this way you don't uh, especially if you're using delicate woods and stuff and you need to still nail you it. don't have picture in picture i'm sorry oh i'm sorry i just wanted to let you know because so you're talking to everyone like you're looking at a camera here hold on so this basically is cord free so uh, most of the time when you do drill drill holes you're, you're gonna have a cord and stuff but this is cord free not only is it cord free it is easy to turn okay mm -hmm. um there's the soft grip panel again this so how do you describe a soft it's not it's not that solid plastic or solid whatever other materials they use it's it's soft it has a slight mm -hmm. squishiness to it so there's two different positions so this position here there is a control power or a keyless chuck allows for easy bit changes, mm -hmm. which is right here, includes four standard bits and a full-time warranty. So if you need to change your bits, you're gonna unlock it like this. Once you have your bits, you lock it in, right? That's right. So let's start with, let's do, let's go to the biggest one. Is this the biggest? Uh, second biggest, maybe. Five thirty seconds. So here's the biggest, and it tells you this stuff. So here, it goes in like this, right? Mm -hmm. And then until I lock it, what do I do? I've not played with this yet, so I have to say, you actually have to hold the chuck to make it work. Okay. Oh, so you put it in there, and then you just use this to do this until it locks, quote, it. locks it. Now we're ready to lock it in place. That's right, and then now okay. you can drill. So now you can drill. So that's what this is for right here. See this? You open this. Hold the chuck. And then depending on if you want to take it out or in, you go, so right now we're going the opposite way. Yeah, basically there's teeth that go up and down the yep. close and hold it. So we're going to put it back in and now we're going to go this way with it out not being locked and it's going to line it up just like that. And then it does it nice make and sure, straight. Make sure it's tight. It is. See? Good. And then when you're ready, you just close it. Now, here's where I was mostly impressed with this. Normally, this would take a lot of force if you're going to do this. I'm going to show you this. Sean, what's the best way to show this off? Uh, I'm just going to show you how easily I am turning this. So, I'm barely putting any force. And look at this. Can you hold the wood down at least for me, though? So look at that. Let me undo it so you guys can see that. Look. Can they see that? I think so. I can do. I can go in a little more. So, see how I want Sean to show how because Sean does a lot of drilling. Here, let me hold your wood for you. How much force are you putting on it, though? 
Not that much at all, and it just eats right through it. You, you shouldn't have done that. There you go. And then just to bring it back out, I don't know what you're doing. How did I, you already I, break I, this? I didn't break it. I, un, I unloosened the chuck. How did you do that? Why are you doing this? I, I didn't have any problem with this. You're so adorable. <laughs> Here. There you go. Oh my goodness, Sean, what did you do? <laughs> Here I let Sean play with one toy and he breaks it. I did break it. Look at that though. Yeah, no force at all. Nice. No force. But again, a lot of your a lot of you people who want to nail small pieces of wood or things together, you usually have to hit a uh, do a pilot hole. This would be great to making a little pilot hole. This way it keeps the wood from splitting instead of just hammering it right in, it'll split. By putting a small drilled hole into it, it won't split. Mm-hmm. So once again, you just put it centered. So why is this Oh, because of the force, I see. So really, you can use that or you can just use this with your hands. And you can do either one. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. So you guys, we do all the work for you. You don't even have to. So you basically, what Sean was trying to do, you have to have this piece locked. If not, this will come loose. See how it's, uh, it's pretty tight in there? Once you have it tight, you do this. And I'm trying to get it to where they can see, but no. mm. it's hard without, and we, it's hard to have it without the wood being, do you want to go flat with the wood? How do you want to do it? That or I, oh, you know what I can do. What, Sean? What can you Let do, my see if I have, Let's see if this, I think this may take just a second. Let's see. Okay, while well, he does that and get you guys a better camera view, because I want to show you, it, it truly is um, pretty impressive how easy this is to use. Um, this is the one tool that Jessica tried to break. They would not let us use this at first, would they? Oh no, no, that was the saw. saw. They didn't want to use the saw at all. They, said, they were no, like, no, 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 no. This though, Jessica thought she had to do a lot of force and she went right into the table. Do you remember yeah. that? Not the table, you know what it was? It was their, um, Things with all the lines and stuff on it, uh, their grid. Oh, their grid. grid. And the they, grid said, they said, wow, you went right through the wood in the grid. It was so awesome. This is perfect for attaching hooks on frames, for moving your um, nails, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Sean's going to bring up a camera so we can get a closer look so you guys can see it. Um, but it's pretty impressive and it's not hard. Like that. So... I have to say for a Fisker's tool. Okay. There we go. Oh, we're ready? Yep. Okay. Um, Do you still need your... Um, my what? Your laptop on there. Why? Because like, if you want, are you, you going to go back to it? I might eventually, okay. but That's you fine. can get rid of it now. No, no, I'm not going to go back to my laptop. Okay. Why? So I was going to get rid of it. Oh, okay. So I'm going to have it with this wood right here. And so this is the smaller one. There we go. Ready? So here's the, the, the drill. Here's the handle right here. So um, let me go back so you can see the whole thing. And this is all I am moving this drill. It is super easy to do. There is no power. I don't want to go too deep because I'm going to... Oh, no! You're too deep. <laughs> you barely just touched it, too. That's okay. how easy. You do not even know you are going through a dense piece of wood because it's that easy to do. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. I hate to say that that shows you the power of this, but it does really show you the power of it. So once again, um, it's really important that this part is down tight because yeah. I did the same thing Sean gotta, did. Gotta be tight. So let's do... And somebody asked, can it use other drills, drill bands? Yes. All drill bits, chuck bits, all that said, they're identical to every tool that you can, so you can use any one you want. It's only going to go up to so so much of a, a size because you can get drill bits that are huge, but these are for most of them should be fine. Wow, that is so. It barely you barely need to turn it. That's crazy. 
Wow. Look at that. And look at that nice. Wow. So that's the drill bit. What would you say? What, what is your thoughts on this, Johnny? It's nice. It's very nice. Perfect for uh, simple DIY stuff that you want uh, to make little pilot holes to, if you're trying to get a hole to, like you want to string stuff through, you know how you want to do twine or stringing of um, on your frames, kind of like this or whatever, it'll do it. Yep. No need to break out of the power tool. No need to say, hubby, hey, where's my, where's the drill that I can use? So you have to actually hold on. It I know. Yeah. So anyway, perfect. It's it works so well. Anybody yep. can use it. The only thing is, I wish is there would be a better way to hold these because you could easily lose them. Lose these. Yeah. Okay. So that was Jessica's favorite thing. My thing was the nail thing for mm -hmm. sure. Found in a hammer. What would you like to try next, Shawnee? Let's try. Let's see. Should we do the saw or should we do one of the scissors? Let's do one of the scissors. Let's okay. do these. This is Sean's favorite thing. This, they had these out and it was. So why did, whole, what was it that you loved about these? It is ease and being able to cut through all the stuff that we had. We had leather, we had plastics and some other things. It was just so easy to squeeze and cut. It was nice. Mm -hmm. So nice. Let's see. Like that, like that. There we go. We're down below now. We're down below? Yep. Okay, so. Sean, yes. I'm going to bring you stuff to cut. All right. So this says it should cut. That's so first good. of all, show them the style. So, so you got now, of course, people talk about left-handed scissors and stuff. Obviously, still a right-handed scissors. They are serrated, which gives you the, the ability. It actually, on some serrations, like leather and stuff, it kind of holds it and cuts through it so nicely. Yes, so they are nine inches. Total length. They are a feature patent pending, strength enhancing curved blades for up to two more, two times the cutting power. Yeah. They're stainless steel power um, through thick and challenging materials as cardboard, cork, decorative metals, leather, and more. The longer blade provides more power and fewer snips, making it dramatically easy to cut crisp, clean lines all the way to the tip of the material. Yep. Serrated blade edge provides more accurate cuts on slippery materials, including sheath, help protect blade from damage, which is what this is. Look at this. This is thick cardboard. No problem. There was literally no effort to cut that. None. Plastic, obviously, right through, no problem. This is uh, that thick, thick material. Look how thick that is. And cut with no problem. So what did you just cut with that? I cut some, uh, I'd say, 16th inch cardboard. No problem. Absolutely no problem. So try using, try cutting okay. this. Look at me. Okay, ooh. What is that? This looks like some kind of uh, chipboard. Am I right? Yep, so uh, this is pretty. Yeah, here we go. Okay. And you have to show it that you can't see, Sean. Okay. Yep. Right okay. there. Okay, here we go. How much force are you putting? Just like if I'm cutting anything else, like a piece of paper. So how is it evil to cut that? Like so that. The serration is part of it. Okay. Sharpness. And I think just the way you notice how it's curved. I think the way they designed this is because mostly your scissors are always straight. This curved effect, I think, just gives you that extra power because as you're hitting the, the peak part of that, it gives you all that power to cut through. Very, very nice stuff. I don't know. Let me see if I have... Do we have a dowel anywhere? A dowel? No, we do not. Um, Need a dowel. Yeah, good stuff. I love this. You know what? I'm going to try. I'll be right back. You... I'm gonna give you. I'm trying to think what else we more. might have that might, could cut, but I don't know of anything. Of course, plastic. Perfect. No problem. Um, Here. Um, what do you got? Leather and suede. Try that. Mm. Here you go. So some full leather here. Like this said, all the way open, all the way down. 
and it cuts right at the tip all the way to the tip like butter I tell you it, it's like I'm cutting a piece of paper it really is and it's easy there's your red dowel okay I don't know guys I don't know. now this is a bamboo um, chopstick let's see if it'll work oops yeah you're gonna have to hold on because it's round oh duh hold it yeah I don't think it'll yeah. well bamboo is very tough material I mean very tough material a lot of your dowels are really are soft woods yeah it won't do bamboo yeah, but I, I do have a rod you can get it to at least get a point where you can cut it. The price point on this, let me see here. $29.99, nine inch shears. They're called Power Cut Shears, $29.99. Great price for a great pair of scissors. You could almost use these for, uh, I bet you could use these as kitchen shears too. I know I have rods somewhere. That's why it's bugging me. Yeah, I, I do. Know. Not sure where. Watch out, little miss. I don't know where we have it. Let me see if I can uh, find any other things for you. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Whoa. 29 sounds like it might be pricey, but I think it's a pair of scissors that you're going to keep for quite a while. They also have a pair of scissors that are kind of interesting. They're small. Uh, I think the blades are about yay long and they're very thin. But they could be used with left-handers because you actually press down on the top of the uh, scissor itself. It's not how you would do this. It's just thumb action. So obviously you can do this with the right hand. You can do it with the left hand. So it cuts, you know, a little preciseness. It's a great left-handed uh, tool. Very, very cool. If you go to the website, I'm trying to see here. If I can find all their goodies here. Lala, it's loading, loading, loading. Blades, blades. Next page. Sorry, I'm looking for one. There, there we are. Go. They're called Total Control Easy Action. They're 18 bucks. Definitely can cut it. Oh! That was a stick. Round stick, about a uh, quarter inch. Cut it right through. Okay, hold it. Let's show yeah. them how to do that. I didn't know that was going to be so easy. You ready? Yeah. So you guys can see. That's a stick. Look at that. Wow. Got right through it. Give me your finger. No. <laughs> when will most of these tools be available? They're available now. They're all available now. All the now. links Just are down below. All the links. Go, go, go. Hey, Simon. So it has a really cool sheet. Really cool. All right. This is next. So this are eight inch snips yeah these are these are not these are not designed for left-handed because you can see how how this is let's see if I get my fingers out of that this is definitely for a right-handed uh right-handed person um again the small called total control easy action precision scissors the you hold it and you and the thing pops up on the top so you're pressing just down just like this, and that's how you cut. Their blades are only about yay big, so you can definitely cut nice little tiny things as a left-hander. I know trying to find left-handed scissors is impossible. I know. These would be good for left-handers because they're symmetrical all the way around. It doesn't matter so if you're in the right or left-hand. these are the Easy Action 8-inch snips. Yep. So now these guys are two times more power. Strength enhancing curved blades, dramatic. They can't see that because yeah. there you go. Sorry, I was doing the one in front of me, but yeah. So, this, so I'm using my left hand. See? So um, patent pending strength curved blades for 40% cutting. Heavy duty stainless steel cuts through thick, challenging materials like chipboard, burlap, cork, decorative metals. Oh, I'm going to go get metals. Micro tip blade allows for detailed snips in hand to reach places, while an integrated wire cutter snips up to 12 inch gauge. Spring action design gently opens, and there's of course the sheath for protection. Yeah, there's the there's that, but again. And then this. Uh, oops, sorry. Let me zoom out a little bit here. So, left handed, no problem. Right handed, no problem. 
So definitely a perfect one. So what's this? I don't know. It says it's it can cut wire, so let's test it. Oh, this is plastic. So that's wire. Is it? Spiral binding wires. It's oh, it's plastic coated wire. How easy is it cut through it? Wow. I don't think you're really. You need to get closer to the camera, my love. Okay, so that's pretty easy. Yep, easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That wood again? Where's that? Let see? me see if I can find metal. Do you think it'll cut through metal? Um, depending on the how big it is. Okay, let me find metal. All right, let's see. Yes. Oh yeah, floral wire. Yeah, surely. Uh, these would be really great. You could probably even do that with even the big ones if you wanted. You'll probably do both. These are really, really nice. And if you notice, see if I can show you. See that little thing there? You can cut, put a piece of wire in there. That's what they were talking about, the gauge. Put it in there and snap. It'll snap that piece of wire right in. That's how you cut uh, strands of wire with that right there. Try bamboo. Cut bamboo. It cuts bamboo? Yep, cuts right through the bamboo. No Bamboo way. stick. So no can, way. Yep, cutting just no problem. Bamboo? Yep. Are you sure? Those are nice. I love these. Yeah, come here. Let me see. Are you sure that cut through bamboo? Bamboo. Show me again. Here you go. Oh! Bamboo. <laughs> and I cut through the string with the, or the, the thing too, like this. So what's it? The... There. Are you going to clean up all of that? Yeah, I guess so. Or that or so a little missing. So what's the difference between into. this and this? I don't know. It's just, it's a really nice pair of scissors. It will cut up to 12 gauge wire. That's what this is. You can put a 12 gauge wire. It's pretty thick wire. That's what's usually a lot of the wire that's in your walls. I think it's 12 gauge. I could Why be wrong. Why do I have wires in my walls? Power. Oh. <laughs> so you could stick a, like I said, you can stick a piece of wire right in there and just go climp and it'll cut it. So all you have to do, put it in there, snap it and you're cut it. Great pair of scissors for a, a handyman or an electrician. These would be great for them. And it locks. You just do this and pull down and it's locked. And then you just put the sheath around it. Oh, either side works both. That's like impressive. That. I'm gonna yeah. try to find something that either won't cut. either one of these would be great for the kitchen. Either pair of these would be great. Do you think you'll cut through plastic? What kind of plastic? You know, a plastic spoon? No, oh, give it a whirl. Might give it a whirl. This might shatter it, but holy moly! Oh. Okay. Stop it! You're gonna do. Do you think that dulls them? Mm -mm. Yeah. Sorry. Whoa! Nice. What else do you want to cut? No. I'll go find something else to cut. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, dogs. Do you think I'll cut through a dog? My kits are going to be so much easier. Well, there you go, Angela. Yeah, you'll be able to cut your uh, dowels that you have to use for uh, cakes, stack cakes. Perfect. Perfect idea. Ooh, I hear birds. Does that mean spring's coming? I just want to see. Funny. I my, doubt my it. Birthday's on, my birthday's on Monday. Do you think? we'll have so much snow. Uh, this is thick. I That's what they're I, like. I don't know about this. So it won't. That's too thick. I think if I work at it... Probably well, let's not do my thing. So that's too thick. Yeah, that's probably too so thick. So tw what's 12 gauge? Because I don't know what that means. It's, <laughs> I forget how they pop can. It'll, pop cans are easy because they're so thin in aluminum. But yeah, they would. Am I using a lot of strength? No, not really. What? Asking if I'm using a lot of strength in cutting this. No, not really. I have to say, I'm impressed. Yeah. I mean, if you have, if you have really bad arthritis, you might have a problem, but... Well, let no. me try. Okay. 
You have to make sure it's towards the back of the of it. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean by I mean? You always start in the back of the scissors when you're doing. Oh! There you go. Ta-da! I agree. Safety goggles, please. Yeah, you're right, Cindy. I should be. Well, cut a pop can. My mind is a little bit blown right yeah, now. It'll cut a pop can. Do you think it will? Yeah. I'll go get one. Pop cans are thin, thin aluminum. You can almost rip them apart. They're so thin. But we'll call it. We'll show you. Cut a nail. Ooh. Uh, let me try the small, small nails. This is uh, number 18. I bet you I could probably... Yeah, I might be able to cut the top of that. Okay, so you can see I'm going to put the nail into there. Yeah, yeah, I cut that with no problem. No problema. Nice and easy. I have safety glasses somewhere, but I'm not sure where they are. Oh, I know where they are. They're in one of my drawers. Yeah, I'm watching the replay already. Yeah, you can see that I cut the nail. See? No problem. Easy peasy. You need a tin, tin can. Yeah. Um, I don't think we have any tin cans that are available to cut. My dogs. Oh, my crazy I couldn't dogs. find a pop can, Sean. You couldn't? No. No, oh, yeah, we had our... our, our all right. Our stuff got uh, done. So those are a must-have. Yes, I know, Tamitha. I do need eye protection. What? Those are a must-have. Yeah. What's that? A chalkboard. Yeah, well, it's a piece of wood with chalk stuff on it. It'll be interesting to see what can cut, if we can cut that. Oh! Oh, that's, compre that's pressed wood. Let's see if this will work. This will need... Yeah, that's pretty tough stuff. Okay, but still, look at these guys can cut through that. Oh. That's insanity. Yeah, this is that, that compressed wood. Wow. It definitely cuts right through it. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, these are nice. My mind is a little blown right now, you guys. My cousin is moving to Spokane, so when I come to see her someday, I'll be watching you for y'all everywhere. Well, Belinda, there you go. You got it. All right, so let's clean say up hi. our workstation because yeah, now we're a mess. We're a mess. We're a hot mess here. Okay, so anything? Did it cut through this easy? Uh, yeah. Oh, that didn't. It's, it didn't it's even like, get a challenge. It's like paper. It's like paper. I can't believe. Don't it. you have real leather somewhere? Yes. Like you the, want me to the, get it? The thick stuff. What do you mean the thick stuff? The thick leather. Leather, the leather, leather, like like they had down there. Oh! Don't we have any of that, or do we not have any of that? I think I do. Let me look. We don't know. Sean, you just entertain the crowds, and I'm I'll find it. You. We'll, we'll entertain you. Let's see. What's this? Oh! <gasps> do you think it will cut through two millimeter chipboard? Hmm. Probably. Where's your scissors? Where'd you put them? I hid them from you. Uh oh. Hid them from me. Oh, oh, look at how nice that! Holy, holy manoli guacamole, and that's you're not even pushing on this. No, that's cutting like butter. Oh, I know it sounds like we're like, oh my gosh, these are great, but these I'm nice. like, these are nice. Look at that! Very, very nice. Good job, Fiskers. Yeah, they came up with some good stuff. Okay, I'll look for leather really quick, Sean. Yeah. So here's the uh, the thing we were talking the um, level. So you can do, uh, obviously, with having its own site on the top, so you can put something right on top and be able to look at it down below. Uh, so this will be for uh, horizontal. This one here at the top is for vertical. And if you're trying to get a 45 just right, that's what this one is. As soon as it's, at a, as soon as it's bubbled right in the center, you're at a 45 degree angle. So that's how that works. So like you said, magnets, see if I have something Don't know if I have any metal anywhere. Why do you need metal? Look at it. It's not a strong metal, but it's enough to hold it. That's, I know you probably can't see that. Do you want this metal? No, that's not metal I'm working. So this stuff here, <gasps> very thin. It's just very thin material. But this would be something like they were talking about. 
If you had 12 gauge. What gauge is this? It's probably. But look at see, how. See, the bigger the, the bigger the number, the smaller it is. So this is very stuff. What else can I cut? But I could, like they said, you could. Like I said, you could go right up in here and just snip it. See? Nice and easy. Don't Making we have mess. anything that's leather that we don't want anymore? No, I don't think so. What? We don't own leather. I know. Other than my jacket, and we're not cutting Let's my jacket. Let's cut your jacket. No, we're not cutting my jacket. Why not? Because that wouldn't be that wouldn't be very nice. Where'd you put the uh, garbage bag, garbage sack, bag sack, whatever we got? I don't know. Can you use the edge of the level as a bone folder? Uh. Maybe. I mean, if you were trying to put a nice crease in something, you probably could. We really don't have don't leather so. anywhere. No. Now what we about? Gotta, now we got to pull out the the saw. This saw was very impressive. Very very impressive. There we go. Did you show them this? Show my yeah, I just did. No, I'm not showing this though. So it comes with a nice guard. Just slip it in. And it locks. Comes undone. Locks. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you didn't show them what I'm so excited about this about. You just have to push and you're unlocked. Okay, guys. I know we're jumping, but. So I've always asked for. How do I know something is level on a chalkboard? Ooh, an old shoe, yeah. Ooh, I'll go get that. Do we have an old shoe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, how do I find something's level on a chalkboard because you never know and stuff? Because, like, how? And now, I can. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because normally, I would have to do this or a tape measure because nothing would stick. It would move on On me. the Aiden board, yeah. But here's the problem, guys. Normally, you can't see... I'm just making I'm having sure. a moment and you're not part of it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just making sure we're safe. Because, but listen, listen, Sean, listen. listen. Yep. Normally you can't see because mm. it's blocked. They've given you a spot to see. I know. Do you see? I do see. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Are you not so impressed? What's, what's nice is if you had a, if you had it like this and you were trying to find out if you're level. You can't you, see anything, Sean. I know. You can do that and see if it's level. See? It's right on there. Bink. And I can look right down. Okay, I'm going to get a pair of shoes. I'll be right back. An old pair of your black shoes? Yeah. We have an old pair of black shoes. That'll work. Uh, yeah, that is a ruler on the bottom. One side is standard, or imperial, as I like to call it, and metric on the other side. Isn't that cool? goes from 0 to uh, 18 and a half centimeters and uh, 7 and a quarter from 0. So, yeah. And then uh, we'll uh, cut this piece of wood here when he gets back, and we'll show you how good it is. Uh, it, it's, it reminds me of a uh, dovetail, what they call a dovetail uh, pair of a, a, a saw, dovetail saw, uh, which is what uh, a lot of furniture makers and stuff uh, that make dovetails, which is... You know, you have the opposite, you have the positive and the negative, so that when you put them together, they'll go right in. Yes. Yes, there is. Oh, there's one sheet. Yep, you were right, Jamie. We won't saw the table, I promise. We're going to have this off to the side. So as soon as he gets down here, we will get that off of here. It'll be very easy. Which way do I want to go? That way. And get this this bit out of there. Am I doing this right or not? Sean, all I have is a leather belt. What's that? I have a leather belt. Uh, do you have an old one or a new one? What? An old leather belt? This one. It was in the bag. Oh, well you don't mind. So here is a piece of leather. What are we cutting it with? 
Um, this? We'll do both. We'll do both. I'm so excited. Here's the, this is the pair I used. Whoa! And I'll do a piece. This now. was your good brown belt, by the way. I don't wear a brown belt. And now for the bigger pair, that works really well too. Look at that. <gasps> nice. Right there. How is this possible? This saw weighs like nothing. Where's your scale? This is. How has it happened? I know. Very super sharp. Where's your scale? Back here? You guys, my mind's a little bit blown right now. I'm a little overwhelmed. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. Um, oh, Sean, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Yeah, no. You can't say that on YouTube. I know. Sorry, guys. All right. Are we gonna Are we gonna play with the saw now? This this saw weighs four ounces. Four ounces. Four ounces. That's without the uh, guard. All right. Let's play with the saw. Four ounces. So let me get my phone back up. Oh my gosh! I'm so excited for the saw, you guys. Uh, you have no idea. Yeah. Uh, Do you think that would cut acrylic? Acrylic's it pretty de hard. It, depend huh? it depends on how thick it is. Okay. Hi guys. I'm super overwhelmed with this stuff. Yes, there's a ruler at the bottom of the sheath. This, yes, yes. ruler. Why is that important? Sean, why, why is what? that important that there's a... A sheath that protects the blade you know, in your Why side. is the ruler? I don't know, so just something to do a quick, quick measurement. Oh, and it's got a locking mechanism. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay, guys, so they would not let us play with this at Creativation until we stole it. Yeah, well, then they finally did. They said, oh, all right. Because they didn't want us to, okay. Even though we did it on a live. So, nope, we're going to go like this. There you go. Just do it like that. Okay, so what am I doing? Remember, you always start at this angle. Whoa. Oops. Here, I'll hold it this way. How is that? No, no effort, is there? How is that possible? Using the weight of the, of the saw itself. Like, I'm not putting any pressure. Nope. I don't get it. You want to hold this and I'll do something. I don't understand it. Yeah. There you oh, go. sorry, guys. You're fine. We're so, do you want me to hold the wood or you got it? Okay. So, so the help, here's the not, here's what's nice. Get, get a close up of the of the blade. See, this is what's called a dual blade. If I go like this, they're see how they're back and forth. So it's cutting when you're going down, and it's cutting when you're pulling back. So both both times you push down and or forward and back, it's cutting, constantly cutting. And that's what that's what makes a good blade is when it can do that. The old saws, it's one way. You you I think it was cut and you come back and you cut or vice versa, whatever it is. But this, every time you cut, it's cutting both back and forth. It is, it's cutting. Wow. I'm using literally no force with this whatsoever. This thing weighs nothing, four ounces. I'm cutting this with no problem. No problem to cut this. So it's the blade doing the, the work. Bl the blade is doing all the work. I'm just moving it. Going that quick? Whoops. I oh my went, gosh, you almost cut my hand off. No, you didn't. I'm just slowing down so I don't get splinters. Look at that. that no. No effort whatsoever. Freaking None. way. This is a nice blade. Okay, let me do it. I want to play. Okay. <laughs> okay, you take that. Okay, so you went up and down. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, just lean on it. Oh, lean on it? Well, there's a big old nail there. That's not a nail. It's your drill bit. Still oh, well, how do I get it out? You're going to need to get your thing. Okay. Well, we'll dig it later. Just turn I it. can't lean on it then. You're fine. I'll hold it too. Okay, you hold it then. Uh, oh. As soon as we do this, we'll find out how much it is. No, wait. Okay, here's some interesting, guys. If you try doing too much force, like 
I like to, I want to put force. It won't let you. It really is the the, the this, softer you go and let the blade do the work. You're right. Wow, that's amazing. I don't get it. Maybe I'm stupid, but I don't get it. How is it doing that without any force? It's called a sharp blade. Huh. That is insanity, Sean. Yeah, uh, is it Anastasia? What? Yeah, this is, if you need a small, a small little saw, this is the one you want. Look you at will, this. You will love this. I am barely pushing. This is a nice blade. Try to use all the blade. What do you mean? Try to use as much of the whole blade to saw. Oh, look at that. Obviously, if it was longer, you can get it done faster, but... Oh, my... You're right. Why... Oh, my gosh. If you use all the blade, it's much easier. Yeah. And that's barely pushing. I don't... I still don't get this. Because it's cutting both up and down. Every time you go up and down, it's cutting. Wow. Ta -da. And you can just, I, and you can see how good it's cutting because look how fine that sawdust is. That is I have lost my That little. is really nice. If you had bigger chunks, that means it's you know probably on the dull side. But look how fine that sawdust is. That's nice. Okay, Sean, you can go back on us, and people are asking how much it is. Is that right? Yep. Some people want to know how much it was. Okay, so this saw on Amazon um, or Fiskars, I guess it doesn't matter. On Fiskars, it's twenty six forty nine. How much? Twenty six forty nine. You can there go you back go. to us. All right, let's go up to the full. Um, twenty six forty nine. It's seven inches. Um, it is thin yet powerful triple ground blade that glides through materials for controlled precise cuts. What's it called? Triple what? Triple ground blade. Okay. A secure protective sheath includes easy to read English and metric measurements while soft grip handles enhance comfort. Thin blade geometry helps the saw power through DIY materials including wood, carbo, dowels, and more. Blade can be easily replaced. Yeah, so I'll go overhead real fast here. So you just undo this screw, boom, boom, and you can get a replacement blade if it ever gets uh, dull. Very easy to replace. So this blade is going probably all the way down to about here probably, and that just secures it. So once again, and it's just, yeah, it's 26, push, 26 49 bunch. on Amazon. There you go, now you know. Yep. Wow. What do you do for a living? Who's asking? Hey, do you want to go to our computer? Can go in one second. Let me know when you're ready. Here it comes. Oops. Sorry, our neighborhood dogs are. Yeah. Okay, we're on. Okay, ready? For a living. Who's asking? Oh, sorry. Just a sec. Hey, let me want... let me mute us so I can show this. Sorry, you guys are going to see our comments and everything now. All right. Make sure we're muted here. Okay. I wanted to show so you guys. Here's how you can replace the blade. Are we ready, Shani? Yeah, they're, they're, they're watching this. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you, you said go to it, so I did. Do a quick measurement of need. Oh, okay. Look how thick that wood is. Boom, done. And then you just unscrew it. Yep. Pull it out. Put a new oh, one in. Oh, wow. Cut you some large dowels. Now 
That is one. Wow. Nice. I'm telling you, it's nice. Hmm. So there you go. Nice, nice, nice. Very cool. Yeah. All right, guys. So I, um, Tarita is asking. Is asking who does what for a living. Ken works from home. <laughs> yeah. I work at uh, a um, outpatient rehabilitation for physical therapy and speech. And also people who've got, who do, who are in pain from work. We call it the SIMP program. It's a yep. very great program. I, I don't work in that area. I work in the pediatric department. Yeah. Um, so you guys, I have to say that. That's a nice, that's a nice, uh, ru uh, I was going to say ruler, but uh, tape measure. Very, very nice. Includes a belt clip in a lanyard. Why would you need a lanyard? Uh, some people like a lanyard. Just put it around your wrist while you're working. I mm. can't get it off. Here we go. I'll work on it. Um, I have to say, you guys, this stuff is really... Don't break my, my tape measure, Shawnee. Uh, this stuff is pretty powerful. I, um, I don't know tools, but I do know that I get frustrated when things don't cut through for me. And this, for a craft tool... This is going to be, for me doing chalk couture, this is going to be a dream because I'm going to be able to cut through things that I normally wouldn't be able to cut through. I'm going to be able to do my leveling. This saw is, I, I, I this saw, I'm completely blown away. Actually, all of it. What are, what's happening? What did they do with this? Here, I got it. Very it's screwed weird. in. You have to unscrew it. See? No. It's supposed to be screwed in. That's the clip. Oh. Mm. There's a little nib that's holding onto it. There, there you go. Goes. There you go. Look at that. Nice little tape oh, measure. Oh, cool. Liner to put around your wrist if you're just, if you need to drop it, you don't have to go back and forth. It's ready to go. I like that the fact that, you know, most tape measures, you have to. You have to lock it. This you, you don't. You know, it's already pre-locked. It pre-locks wherever you go, which yeah, is really nice. Makes it really nice. Cool. So you guys, I have to say this stuff's pretty cool. Yep. Love um, it. I don't, I. I'm almost at a loss of word for this up because I wanted to break it. Is that bad that I wanted to break it and I couldn't break it? <laughs> yeah. What's your thoughts? What's your overall thoughts? Now, seriously, you're a tool guy. I want to. I like these. These why are, though? These are really, really nice. What makes them nice though? Here, yeah, I got it. I think for me, it's the fact that you don't have to exert so much power. You don't have to sit there going. Argh! You just let the let the weight of the tool do the job the way they're supposed to be. Let it do it. Are Joanne's getting these? I think so. Joanne's has them. Well, there you go. They have them. Yes. In fact, um, can you share my screen again, Shani? Sure. Let me know when you're ready. I love the pre-lock. I am ready. Hold on one second. I need to get off here. So here, here, and okay, you're on. All right, so Joanne's already has it. Now, the stuff you wanna make sure is you're getting the DIY. And the reason why that's important is the DIY is for the thicker material. So mm -hmm. for example, this circle punch, normally you would say, who cares, it's circle punch. This is a two inch circle punch for thick material. So if this here, if I remember right, is going to end up going through cork board and leather, look at that, oh man. That's crazy. Is that going through press board? That's cork right there. That looks like cork. There's press board. Wow. Or cardboard maybe. So you want to make sure you are getting the DIY right now. It looks like they're 40% off, which on some of their stuff isn't too bad. No. Nope. Um, but a lot of it is running like they do, but the DIY is the stuff. So you wanna be looking for the DIY. Um, this was really nice, we played with this. This was the heavy duty loop um, DIY rotary cutter, which is really, really nice for thicker materials. Mary Pad, all Joann's are just large stores. 
Mm, I, don't I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what size R is. Okay. Is ours large? I don't know. I, I do know in the very beginning, these, these tools were so popular, they couldn't keep them in stock. So when I went to Creativation, I said, I love these tools, but I can never find them in my Joann's. And they said that as soon as they're getting them in in Joann's, they're running out of stock right away. Um, so if they're online, I would definitely get them online. Let me see how much that is. So here's the saw again. Absolutely love this thing. Nice, sharp, ready to go. The hand drill, no power. Comes with four different size bits. Perfect for pilot holes or making holes into frames or something where you need to do that stringing of uh, stuff so you can do hanging, perfect. Here's a level, you get uh, a vertical, horizontal, and 45 degree, along with a magnet so it can hold on, it can be on a wall or something like that so it can hold it. And the, the horizontal one, obviously you can look through the top to see if it's level. These are the self, uh, that's the self-locking tape. Which ones are these? So this one literally has been cutting through everything. This thing has been really nice. Spring-loaded, lock, this stuff, the, these scissors, awesome. Left, right-handed, no problem. The uh, big power cut shears, love these shears. They're serrated, right-handed only, unfortunately. Now, and when you, guys are, are nice. when you guys are going to the store to find these things, if you're gonna go to your local Joann's, it's really important, just so you know. Perfect. You guys are looking for any of them that have this. Built to DIY, new built to DIY. These are the new DIY stuff. Yep. So if it says the new built to DIY full warranty, um, that's what you're looking for. Last two things again. The I believe we said this was what 12 ounce uh, mm -hmm. hammer. It's mm -hmm. Got a nice flat, so it fit nice like this way. Um, you can hold it more power for down here. Get the big swing, or if you got the little tiny taps. It's nice and weighted perfectly for that. And last but not least, that we all know we love to get the nail holder. Larger nails, medium, and tiny, tiny nails. Especially when you're trying to do those tiny, tiny nails and you don't want to smash your fingers, it'll fit right on there. Hold it like this, up against the wall on a piece. Holds it, bang, 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 bang. It's perfect, wonderful piece. Eight bucks, can't go wrong with this. Yeah. So it doesn't so yeah, look like they're on Joann's online, but it does look like they're in store for a lot of these pieces. Mm -hmm. um, so if you want to, you can check it out and, and possibly get it, pick it up in store. It definitely is um, online at Fiskers.com. 16 feet, by the way. Let go, push. Thumb release, nice and sharp. So there you go, isn't that lovely? Yeah. So most of it is on Amazon. I'm definitely seeing it there. Um, I do see a few on eBay. My only, uh, I will be say cautious on eBay, mm -hmm. make sure you're getting a genuine Fiskars. Um, we learned the hard way. We went on eBay, bought a whole bunch of KitchenAid stuff and we got noticed that it was all fraudulent. The good thing is, is eBay refunded all of our money and they said we discovered it was fraudulent. Um, but I bought Sean a whole bunch of KitchenAid stuff thinking it was genuine KitchenAid and it wasn't. It was it was fraudulent stuff. That's so right. just be careful on eBay that you're buying from a reputable seller and all that good yep. stuff. So, all right guys, well, I hope, I do love it. I love the whole so you can put it on a pegboard. Yeah. I am really impressed with these tools. So much so that I'm gonna be going to my Joann's probably right after this to see whatever I don't have, I'm gonna be buying. Mm -hmm and I stuff know. so and the fact that sean likes them i don't think that they're going to stay in my craft room very long he's probably going you're going to take those snips aren't you um i'd love to have these in the kitchen really oh yeah i love having good sh good scissors in the kitchen these that's a nice. good idea these would be nice in the kitchen cool all right there guys well thank you so much thank for you. joining us and letting us and um i can suggest what you would use with these tools. Um, for me, these tools screamed out to me because I do a lot with chocotour and wood and cutting stuff mm -hmm. and um, 
I've been having issue finding tools that can actually handle that. Um, Without having to pull out big, the, the big yes. power tools. So the, the whole idea behind Fiskars, when we asked them, what are these tools for, is they basically said, we're a DIY society, meaning we have a lot of people in, mm -hmm. in the world that are single moms. They don't have a guy to hang up something and something like that. But everything on the market was these heavy power tools that were heavy or electronic or required all this heavy force. And they wanted to be able to create something that was yeah. non-powered easy to use mm -hmm. and did not require you to be the force behind it. They wanted the tool to do the work for yep. you, that's not right. you. And that's because they realize a lot of their crafters have arthritis or they have um, numbness in their hands. So they said, we understand that a saw to use all your force, you're doing the force. Why not let the tool do it for that you? so true. What are you looking for? Well, I think he's about to die. Oh. So we're going to have to go real quick. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, let me know. I have to say this is pretty cool. I'm, I, I'm definitely glad I got them. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. We will be back tomorrow with another video live. Yes. And thank you so much for watching. There. Thank you so very much. All right, guys. All right. Have an amazing day. Thanks, guys. Bye.